finding love in Ramadan. We're going to talk about taqwa, piety and consciousness. We're going to talk about loving other people, especially those who are nearest to us. We're going to talk about the three levels of fasting, the fasting of uh, you know, the intent and the fasting of the limbs and the fasting of the heart. There's so many things that relate to love and Ramadan and taqwa and piety. And I wanted to share with you initially that our aim in the month of Ramadan is set for us. And the goal of fasting in the month of Ramadan is not one where we try to invent. You know, Allah doesn't say to us, try to do something. He tells us what it is that we should focus on. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O you of faith, prescribed upon you is fasting. As it was written upon the nations before you, the people of the scripture before you. And the greater aspect of siyam for us as believers was to fast with also our tongue and our eyes and our mind and our heart. But it begins also with abstinence. And Allah tells us in the Quran, O you of faith, be mindful of God, be conscious of God. And let each soul look to what it brings the next day. What are you going to do for that next day? What do you want? What success do you seek? And the imagery of success in the Quran is that of a farmer. Successful are those who are believers. The word success in Arabic, al-falah, it comes from falah, right? A farmer, someone who's going to toil his back. It takes back-breaking work. You clear the field, you move the stones, you dig out the roots, you irrigate the land, you leave it for months. And then you plant a seed. And therefore that seed that is put in the soil, who lets the tree grow, nurtures it with irrigation and shades it from the sun and praying birds until it reaches its full potential. And Allah says that that full potential for us as believers is to take that fruit at its right time. But it takes sacrifice and a delay of gratification today for tomorrow. That is called siyam. Kutiba alaykum siyam. It's written for you. Kama kutiba alladheena min qablikum. The reason, la'allakum. Perhaps. If you do it right. If you're fortunate. By chance. Maybe. If you're lucky, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ Your piety, your consciousness, your magnification of God may increase a little or much depending on your effort in that month of Ramadan.